The Labour Party complained previously that Cabinet's decision to qualify Keith Mondesi's private dwelling at Bonte as part of his tuxedo villas was illegal. Opposition leader Dr. Kenny Anthony insists the decision was taken to protect the health minister from a customs investigation. We are aware that Prime Minister Stevenson King was not chairman of Cabinet when Cabinet took that decision. But he was at a subsequent meeting of the Cabinet when Cabinet ratified that decision. Prime Minister Stevenson King should have revoked the decision or persuaded his colleagues to revoke the decision because the decision was plainly wrong. It seems to me that he's continuing his pattern of condoning unlawful behavior by his ministers. Dr. Anthony says he's troubled by the fact that the Attorney General is involved in making, as he terms it, those unlawful decisions. If concessions were granted to what is said to be approved tourism premises, and the Customs Department has begun investigations into allegations that concessions intended for Tuxedo Villas found themselves at a private residence, then he must have known that there was already a breach of the law under the Tourism Incentives Act. Therefore, the action of Cabinet was plainly illegal. The opposition leader suggests his party is considering the issues carefully to ensure that politics does not cloud good judgment. He says already the Labour Party is piecing all the evidence together to make its case. We already have in our possession the Cabinet conclusions. Secondly, we want to make sure that we are on target. And while there are lawyers within the ranks of the St. Lucia Labour Party, we believe, however, that we would not want to prejudice our own thinking for political reasons, and rather we will seek independent legal advice. All the government has to do is to revoke the decision and allow the Customs Department to take appropriate action against Mr. Mondesi because the law provides for a remedy, and that remedy could be applied in this instance. The SLP leader was not certain how long his legal counsel would take to reply, but he says normally the courts expect that actions against the government or public functionary should commence within six months of the breach of the law. Clinton Reynolds, HTS News, Channel 4.